help of a lot of hardworking, dedicated people by their side, Dora Schwebel and her children took that company through the Great Depression and kept right on going. In fact, when things got so bad that even the banks had to close, she gave her own personal guarantee to suppliers that they would get paid for every ounce of flour shipped to her bakery. And for the first time, mills that had always demanded cash up front started sending truckloads of flour to Dora Schwebel on credit. It's hard to imagine, but somehow, in the midst of the most devastating economic depression in American history, this dynamic woman not only managed to stay in business, she doubled production. With the depression finally coming to an end, Dora and everyone at the Schwebel Baking Company looked ahead to a brighter future. Happy the Clown became a symbol of the good times to come, and the city of Youngstown, Ohio was on its way to becoming one of America's leading steel producers. Spurred by the events of World War II, area steel mills were cranking up production at record levels, and the Schwebel Baking Company had already celebrated its 35th anniversary in 1941.